What is up guys, it is Turbo here, welcome to the FIFA 13 career mode, currently with Sevilla, this is episode 142, and we have league, well, two games for you today, uh, one a home match against Mallorca, I believe that is, in the league of BBVA, and then we also have another away match in the BBVA against Sociedad, I think, I'm not too sure, I'm sorry, I don't know the names of the teams yet, um, but we are coming into December, and as you can see, there aren't many games in December. We do have that cup replay later on in the month against uh, that team that we drew against uh, straight after Barcelona. But apart from that, you know, we have to focus on the games that we uh, that we play, and uh, we need to win them, and so that we can go into the January transfer window with a big boost of morale and uh, form and everything, so I can sell my players if I need to, and their price will be high, and I can uh, I can get some new ones. But we move straight in. Here we go. Nana Weber picking up the ball. Going for a long shot. And unfortunately, it was always going to go wide. But the keeper was having his doubts early on. And we were very much dominating the match, as you would expect, because we are home. At the back, solid has been the word to describe. And, you know, for the last couple of games, that's what we have been, solid. Um, through through the thick and thin, really, we really have been pretty good. The keeper, Diego Alves, has been a key part of all of our success as well. But, uh, but then we have the first chance of the match, the first real chance. And in the 17th minute, Ben Khalifa is just burning past like, Jesus Christ, burn, 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 burn. For, oh, my God. He could not finish it around the keeper. And Perotti on the rebound in the open net could not put it in. So 1-0 uh, to them on the scale of finishing. But we move on with the next chance. Navas again unlucky to not find the target. And, guys, what you're about to witness is just the first half domination. Domination? Domin, domin, demolition display. That's what I want to say. Um, again, Nana Webber on the turn. I've seen him put them into. I've seen him put them into the net so many times before, but he couldn't do it there. And again, he couldn't do it on the rebound though. But it did fall to Ben Khalifa, and after a lucky deflection, we do finally get a goal. All the way up to the 45th minute, it took us to score, and we've had four or five clean cut chances already. We should really be two or three up, and the game should have been put to bed by now. But as it is, we're only winning one 0 But we do have the home advantage. Obviously, our home crowd have been fantastic already this year. I don't know what that defender was doing, by the way. And so they're going to cheer us on, and we're going to hopefully go out and win this game. Is what we want to do, especially with the fact that we are top, and uh, you know we want to get a really big lead going into the uh, going into the January February month, because then of course you know um, all those cup games start to play a role. Oh my God, Perotti unlucky with the overhead kick, could not quite connect. All those cup games start to play a role. You know we're going to have a tight schedule all the time. We're going to have uh, we're going to be loaded with games left, right, and center. And uh, you know if we're, if ever we're going to lose points, it's going to be during those January, February months when all those cup games are upon us. So uh, so I need a big lead. I'm targeting a big lead, big lead going into those months so that if we do happen to drop points in the league because of all the cup games and the fatigue and morale in the team and etc., um, I can not suffer from it as much. You know, I can recover from it as quickly as possible is what I want to say. But unfortunately, they do get a goal back in the 77th minute. A lucky, lucky goal, really. Uh, but it was a great finish from the uh, from the player. It was just lucky for him to get into that position at all. But then Nana Webek here doing fantastic to cut inside. and has a shot, and again, it just fires over. And that was the sort of luck we were having. And this game is actually going to finish 1-1. So speaking of dropping points, uh, there we go. Um, unfortunately, we dropped two there. But we, still, we will still be top, but our lead will be shortened if Barcelona or Real Madrid have won. So we're moving to the next match against Sociedad, and uh, I was feeling the EA bullshit. I really, really was. Um, I felt, I, I felt, I felt beaten last game, but you know, not beaten in the sense that they outplayed me. Beaten in the sense that EA just decided to not have me win, and uh, that that feeling came over into this game, and I was really lucky to not go one 0 down here against Carlos Vila. But what it, it felt like they were they were getting really good chances. They were hitting all theirs on target, apart from that one, obviously. And, uh, and we were missing all of ours. I mean, just look at this. Navas steaming past the defender. You expect him to finish that, but unfortunately the keeper comes out with a big time save. And Ben Khalifa could not find a way to goal, even though he managed to turn the defender straight after the rebound. And again, here he is. Another strike on goal. Another fantastic save by the keeper. Nana Werbeck tried to keep it alive, but unfortunately it's in the keeper's hands. So I don't know what was happening. I really, really don't. And it was annoying me a little bit, but we did finally get a goal in the 52nd minute. Through my man Ben Khalifa, who has been playing a lot of games lately with the uh, with the fact that Wilfred Boney is out, and he has been uh, a really key part in us keeping on top of the league. And he does give us a one 0 lead in the 52nd minute. It took us all the way into the second half to score, and uh, from then on the the floodgates just opened and all the chances started pouring out. Perotti here is going to take it under control, and he's going to have a strike straight into the top corner with his left foot, drive driving that one home. I was going to say driving driving that one home. 
in the 57th minute to give us a 2-0 lead. And like I say, the floodgates just opened and suddenly all our chances were going in and they weren't going anywhere going forwards. The other team, Real Sociedad. I make some subs, bring on my super sub, Reyes, uh, who has been a, a fantastic player throughout the, uh, throughout the season to bring on off the bench. And the result was another goal. Uh, as you're going to see in a minute here, Ben Khalifa giving the ball to my free agent who's going to cut inside and have another shot that's going to fire home into the bottom corner. And, uh, well, th the game is over, isn't it, really? It was over when we got the 2-0 lead and it was just put to bed when my free agent got us the three-goal cushion in the 69th minute. Tra -la -la -la. Um, so yeah, I, was, I was very pleased with that. I was very pleased with the 69th minute goal. We had a chance to go 4-0 up almost straight away. Look at this in the 71st minute here. Reyes going through. And he's just going to... He should have really just passed that into the path of Ben Khalifa who tried with the overhead kick. And then he hit the bar from the rebound. I don't even know what was happening. But whatever. The final score is 3-0 to us which is a good win after a, uh, after a game where we dropped points last time. So here we go. Here's the league table. After we've dropped points, we're now only six points ahead. And actually, we were six points at the start. So, uh, along the way, Barcelona and Real Madrid must have drawn a game. And uh, that is the reason why they are not on top. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this episode. I also want to thank you guys for the support on last episode. I really appreciate it. That was very, very, uh, very helpful. And episode 140 was good too, guys. Um, if you could please like, subscribe, and comment, I would very much appreciate it. And apart from that, I will see you guys next time. Bye!